this video. People are still buying more Bitcoin even though now we have an existing and ongoing conflict. But the question is, where are we headed right now with the Bitcoin price? And guys, we are also going to take a quick look with SLP as right now we are now seeing this next and possible move for the SLP price action. Stay tuned to know more. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to another Gab's cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily technical analysis like this. So let's dive into this video and let's give you a quick recap of our previous analysis. So diba, so previous analysis natin, we were actually monitoring this descending, broadening, falling wedge. And diba, sabi ko sa inyo, this is a continuation pattern and what must happen is we need to get buy volume upon this breakout, which is right now we are starting to get that buy volume. And on top of that, Diba kahapon, we mentioned that there is also an ongoing conflict. And diba sabi ko sa inyo, yung mga ganong conflict, those types of news, pati mga FUDs, it will not affect the Bitcoin price overall market structure. It will only affect the short term, but it will not affect the market structure. In fact, if you're going to look at the daily time frame, look at this. Despite of the ongoing conflict with Russia as well as Ukraine, tingnan nyo ang nangyari kay Bitcoin price. Yesterday, the Bitcoin price was around the... 38,000 US dollars and look at this. Asan na ulit kayo si Bitcoin price? Andun pa din tayo. So tingnan nyo, nagkaroon ba siya ng malaking effect with the crypto market? No, it did not. It only gave an effect with the very short term and then tingnan nyo to. The moment na inannounce si Vladimir Putin na they are going to invade Russia, we saw this massive red candle and then after that massive red candle, tingnan nyo, we saw a lot of buy volume. In that case, despite of the Bitcoin price declining, people are still buying more bitcoin it, it seems like everyone who is selling yung mga people na nag-sell ng bitcoin nila a lot of people are buying from everyone who have been selling so in this case isa ako dun sa mga tao na buibili ng bitcoin when everyone is selling kasi take note guys whenever na we are in this type of crisis these are massive opportunities to re-enter the market in fact we have seen this opportunity two years ago two years ago exactly look at this nung previous time na nagkaroon ng crash sa bitcoin because of the covid-19 lockdown crash ito oh. what happened people have been buying more bitcoin so in this case during this series of downtrend or if let's say biglang bumagsak si bitcoin those are opportunity for you to buy and not to sell your bitcoin so in this case people have been buying bitcoin ever since today and look at this and laki ng buy volume natin for the current bitcoin price action so that is indicating na people have been buying bitcoin despite of the ongoing conflict with russia so as you can see, isa din ako sa buwibili ng Bitcoin. And as of now, ang dami kong buy orders ngayon na fill with the Bitcoin price action. So ako, I've been buying the dip. Same goes with Ethereum. I've been buying more Ethereum. So if I were you, mas maganda na bumili ng more Bitcoin during those opportunities. Kasi of course, those are opportunities to re-enter the market. And just like what I've been doing, I've been buying more Bitcoin. And now let's dive into the Bitcoin price action. Let's give you a technical analysis of what is happening right now with the Bitcoin price action. So if you're going to look at the 4 hour time frame as well as the RSI, kasi diba, sabi ko sa inyo, right now, the Bitcoin price is forming this RSI resistance in the 4 hour time frame. So right now, what must happen is, Bitcoin must break this RSI resistance, which is right now, we are now currently seeing that breakout. And on top of that, we are also seeing this Bitcoin price and the decline si Bitcoin. At the same time, the RSI is also increasing. So that is a clear indicator of a bullish trend reversal. So right now, we are now starting to break out dito sa ating bullish, ano, bullish movement. So I think this is going to be a minor pullback after this breakout kasi look at this. Right now, the Bitcoin price is actually getting rejected by this 50MA in the 4-hour time frame. So this is actually a good thing for us to re-enter if let's say we are going to pull back dito with the Bitcoin price. I think ang magiging pullback target nito is around the 20MA which is roughly sitting around the 37.4K. So I think personally, ang good re-entry opportunity to kay Bitcoin if you're going to re-enter Bitcoin is actually the 20 moving average in the 4-hour time frame. So that is what I am right now monitoring with the Bitcoin price action. And we have to break this 50 MA in order for us to say that we are going to flip bullish with the Bitcoin price action. Which is right now, di pa natin siya break. And on top of that, if you're also going to look at the shorter time frames dito kay Arli, let's try to open this Arli time frame. You can see na right now, for the very short term, we are now starting to see this increasing price while the RSI is declining. So that is an indicator of a 
short-term bearish trend the bursal. So in that case, we might see a pullback ngayon for the Bitcoin price action. So right now, that is what I am monitoring. But still, we are now getting some significant buy volume with the Bitcoin price. So that in this case, I'm leaning towards a bullish bias for the time being. But if na break natin itong support na yan, yung 20 moving average, then that is going to be a bad thing. What must happen right now is the Bitcoin price must hold the 20 moving average in the 4 hour time frame. Looking at this in the macro scale, look at this. Bitcoin had a very strong bounce around the lower regression band ng ating logarithmic growth curve. And look at this guys, during the invasion of Ukraine nito ni Russia, look at this. We did not actually break the market structure, na continue pa lang din siya. And look at that guys, we are now actually getting bounces dito sa ating lower regression band. So that is indicating na we might be seeing the bottom ng Bitcoin. It could be possible na ito na possible bottom ng Bitcoin which is playing around the 34,000 US dollars. So right now, I think... And lowest point ngayon for the time being ni Bitcoin is around the 34,000 US dollars. And then siguro if you are going to align this trend line na yan, if let's say you are going to plot this trend line properly, ay no, lagyan natin siya dyan. You can see na we are now starting to get a series of higher high and higher lows dito kay Bitcoin price in the weekly time frame. So I think this is a good indicator right now Now we are seeing this higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So right now this is what I am monitoring if, if you are going to break these trends of higher high and higher low. Kasi typically... If we are seeing those types of movement, then that is an indication that we are getting a lot of strength and momentum pa rin for the Bitcoin price action. So as of right now, Bitcoin price must sustain this structure of higher high and higher low as well as it must hold this lower regression ba ng ating logarithmic growth curve in order for us to see Now we are still playing this trend ni Bitcoin price and we are still healthy within the movement. And as you can see, this logarithmic growth curve has been predicting every Bitcoin price action since the start. And right now, we are still playing within those logarithmic growth curve area. And right now, I am still leaning toward this massive support. I think the bottom would play out around the 34 or 33 to 35k area. So that is what I am right now monitoring with the Bitcoin price. But guys, if you want to trade Bitcoin, if you want to buy more Bitcoin at magbodega ng Bitcoin, you can actually buy more Bitcoin dito kay Bybit. And if you want to claim bonus with Bybit, just use my sign-up link that you can find in the description down below. Now, let's talk about the altcoin market because, of course, whenever the Bitcoin price is declining, that is a bad sign for altcoins if, let's say, ang Bitcoin dominance is not looking healthy. So, with that being said, we are going to dive in with the Bitcoin dominance. So, diba, ating previous analysis natin, what we are monitoring is this support kay Bitcoin dominance. And right now, diba, sabi ko sa inyo, if magkaroon ng bounce, then that is a bad thing for altcoins because that is indicating na altcoins are going to bleed. Ibig sabihin, mapapag-iwanan sila if nag-pump si Bitcoin or lalo silang babagsak if let's say bumagsak si Bitcoin. And right now, as you can see, pataas yung dominance. So that is indicating na that is the scenario na nangyari ngayon. In fact, if you're going to look at this, we saw this massive green candle kay Bitcoin as compared kay Ethereum. Hindi pa tayo nagkakaroon ng breakout dito kay Ethereum as opposed kay Bitcoin na nagbe-breakout na siya. So yun yung nagiging effect ng increasing Bitcoin dominance which is humihina yung altcoin market natin. So in this case, in order for altcoins to remain healthy, the dominance must decline. But right now, we are starting to see this increasing dominance. Nagbabound siya dito sa support na sinasabi natin. So right now, what I would do right now is actually to focus more with the Bitcoin price action before entering into any major movement with the altcoin market. And take note, we are still following this ascending channel forming within the Bitcoin dominance. So that is what I am still monitoring right now with the Bitcoin dominance movement. And with that being said, let's also give you a quick update with the Ethereum price action. So right now, Ethereum is right now actually playing within this broadening falling wedge. So as you can see, we are still playing inside. So I think we can still further play within this movement if hanggat na wala pa tayong nakikitang breakout with buy volume as well as a 4-hour candle close. So in that case, that is what I am currently monitoring with the Ethereum price action. And siguro if you're also going to extend this, ito, itong Fibonacci retracement area, you can actually see now we are starting to see a clear support and resistance area within this 2,700 US dollars, which is actually Fibonacci assistance dito. So right now, that is what we are currently monitoring with the Ethereum price action. And right now, we are also seeing a support area around the 2,582 US dollars. So that is a pretty strong support right now, which we have to monitor with the Ethereum price action. So right now, I'm still buying more Ethereum sa spot wallet. But when it comes to trading, I don't think na maganda pa mag-trade Ethereum ngayon. We still have to wait out for this bullish breakout. At the same time, dapat maging healthy si Bitcoin. And dapat mag-decline si Bitcoin dominance in order for us to see Ethereum play a healthy movement. So that is what I am monitoring right now with Ethereum price action. Now let's dive into the SLP price action. Kasi look at this guys. SLP is right now forming this somewhat of a descending triangle within the 4-hour time frame. The RSI is increasing. However, the price is not declining. 
this is I think I am more 50-50 dito with this movement. So right now we might see an imminent move with the SLP price action and especially if mag consolidate tayo dito at mag converge movement. Then we might see two possible scenarios dito. First things first, if you're going to plot this line, and then lagi natin siya sa possible point of breakout, we might see SLP go down up until the 0 0.0137 dollar area. But if this breaks bullish, then our target is more likely going to be this area na yan. That is roughly around the 0 0.25 US dollars. So right now, that is what we are currently monitoring with the SLP price action. And then siguro, lagi natin ng clear resistance area around the 0 0.02 US dollar area, which is, ito, which is itong area na yan. So yun yung ating monitor right now with the SLP price action if we are going to say we are going to flip bullish. But as of the time being, we still have a resistance within the 50 moving average in the 4 hour time frame. So that is what we are going to monitor with the SLP price action. Pero guys, if you want to make money out of SLP, if let's say umakit siya or bumagsak, you can make money out of it by longing or shorting SLP in Bybit. Kasi dito kay Bybit, you can actually trade SLP Hindi mo siya pwede gawin kay Binance, hindi mo siya pwede gawin sa ibang platform. If you want to long or short SLP, one of the only places that you can do that is actually in Bybit. And if you want to claim bonus with Bybit, just use my sign-up link na you can find the description down below. So in muna titatin for the time being and that is what we are going to monitor with the Bitcoin price action. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more contents like this, please subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video and bye-bye for now.